Hello, my name is Chris. I've worked years to get to this point. To build my reputation. To call myself a photographer. My special skill is framing things we can't see with our own eyes. It's over in the blink of an eye. With an ordinary camera and the iron will to succeed, I will do everything I can to get the perfect picture. So this is my challenge. This is the high speed challenge. Hello and welcome to the High Speed Challenge. Now, the last episode was very destructive, so to speak. But let's take it a step further even, because this time it is bullets versus wine glass. This time I will use the protective box again and uh, the only modification I made to it to use it today is basically a phone book and what it does is it will stop the bullet from actually um, shooting through the acrylic glass. So that's basically everything there is. Um, another point is that the water that is in the wine glass will distribute the pressure of the bullet extremely well onto the glass walls of the, of the glass and then it will actually break. So it will actually uh, distribute them and amplify the pressure of the, of the soft air gun to the glass. This box holds not only the water in it, that's why it is absolutely crucial the box contains the dangerous parts and it's able to hold it in. The most important part this time is the lid, because the water in the glass will distribute the bullet's pressure extremely well, the energy of the bullet will destroy the glass a lot more. What is there in the physical environment that we can actually use as a trigger for the flashes? Well, as you may have guessed, I know this is just an airsoft gun, but the advantage of that is that it is um, with a CO2 cartridge and that gives a loud bang. So it actually gives a loud bang uh, before the bullet hits the glass. So that's very important because that's the thing that I want to trigger. So I want to trigger the, the expanding gas coming out of the barrel. and then after a certain delay, it will fire the flashes. Then catch the bullet going through the glass. So the question is always though is, will I frame it?
So if you are a photographer or interested in general in buying a airsoft gun, here's a tip on why I got this gun. Thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. If you found that video somehow interesting or entertaining, please leave a like below and I'll see you in the next episode of the High Speed Challenge. Chris out. Bye.